Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed lower on Wednesday, dragged by shares in consumer durables and apparel, pharmaceuticals, biotech and life sciences, and utility sectors. On the data front, the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index increased to 0.5 in May. This has 73% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now, after hours, Keysight Technologies report in second quarter adjusted EPS of $1.22 versus $0.83 cents a year ago on revenue up 10% year over year to $1.09 billion dollars. PVH Corporation announcing first quarter adjusted EPS of $2.46 from $2.36 a year ago on revenue of $2.36 billion. Turning overseas, Asian markets mostly down today. The Nikkei, that's down 0.29%. The Hang Seng, down 0.44%. China CSI 300, down 0.62%. South Korea's Kospi, up 0.77%. European markets gaining some ground. and U.S. futures call for a slightly positive start. Now, in terms of expectations today, we have Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Lululemon Atletica, Ultra Beauty, as well as Costco Wholesale. Now, on the economic docket today, 8.30 in the morning, we have both continuing and initial jobless claims figures. We also have April goods trade balance and wholesale inventories and first quarter core PCE prices and first quarter GDP growth rate figures quarter over quarter, the second estimate. 10 o'clock in the morning, we have pending home sales figures. Now taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500, that sees caution. The Nasdaq sees its key resistance at 72.61, and that's in focus. The relative strength index is mixed and calls for caution. Short positions below 72.61 are favored with targets at 72.10 and 7183 in extension, while the Dow Jones, that's his caution.